Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing things that your iPhone will be able to do on iOS 18.4. Now, as you probably know by now, iOS 18.4 is currently on the second beta and it's coming to the public towards the middle of April and it will be a big update. With the first couple of betas, we have about 70 new features and changes and we have a lot of improvements and a lot of things that your iPhone will be able to do that it couldn't do before. Like this right here. You can see I'm on my iPhone. I can go to my settings settings and just show you this so if i go to directions under maps we have here avoid tolls and highways but i have that setting turned off here's what i can do if i'm just let's just go out of here ask siri avoid tolls it says okay and if i go to the settings you can see it has turned on that setting i can do that even from here so if i just tap that button i have that shortcut that will actually do that for me which is really awesome or if i'm on safari let's go to safari settings here and if I go ahead and go right here to my search engine, you can see I have Google as my search engine for Safari, but I have this shortcut that of course I can invoke using Siri. For, I can invoke it maybe from the control center or maybe by adding it to the home screen. So you can see I have right here google if i want to switch to another search engine i don't have to go to that setting under safari i just tap right here to run that shortcut and now it will actually change it to bing how cool is that so we'll show you guys how to do this and other things cool things that you can do on your iphone on ios 18.4 so with this update apple has added a ton of new shortcuts that basically are a step forwards to the new siri 2.0 that is coming to ios which will let you do within app actions so here we have a few of them that you can now do using the shortcuts app but of course when you set them up you can just ask siri to do that for you and it will do it very very easy first of all tap the plus button right there let me show you some from the maps app so if you just search for maps you will have this right here change map settings so i tap right here and now i can go ahead and change any of these settings like you saw that first one right there to avoid tolls so i can go ahead and tap that and now choose how i want to set that setting whether i want to turn it on or off and once i have done that i can go ahead and of course change the name right here so when i set the name i set the name to anything i just want to say to siri and it will change that setting i can just say tolls right here and it will basically do that for me so once i say that word to siri it will invoke the shortcut and will change that setting another thing you can do right here with the maps is that you can also change maybe the volume of the maps app when you're navigating and you can do that using siri or this shortcut so you can see right here we have a few different settings of course you can use any of these settings create shortcuts for any of these settings i'm just showing you guys a few examples of some some of the like most useful ones like change the volume you can change the volume tab right there to softer normal or louder volume and then you can just use siri or just invoke this shortcut to actually change that volume without having to go the settings app then go to the app section find maps and then change the setting you can just use siri to do that in a second and how cool is this one right here open conversation that's all I have to say to Siri and it will go straight to this conversation on my messages app. This is also a new feature that Apple has added to iOS 18.4. Now the way to do that, simply tap the plus button and search here for messages and then tap here to open conversation. Now what you need to do here, just tap on conversation. It will show you a list of all the conversations that you have on your messages app and you can just select one of them to actually open it now when it says open conversation right there you can rename this and add any name you want that there for the conversation and once you say that name it will go straight to that conversation again you can have it as a shortcut you can run it from your home screen if you have added that short shortcut to your home screen right here or maybe just launch it from anywhere you want using siri 
and you can do some pretty cool stuff with Safari as well. So here we have some of those. So if you search for Safari and go to change Safari settings, you will have here a few different settings that you can actually change. Now you have here the search engine, just like we talked before, you can change the search engine to any of the search engines that are supported in Safari. So you can see the list here. You can just pick any of them. It will switch to that search engine. Now you can do that for the private search engine as well. Now what's really cool is that you can also choose to open links. So if you go there, you can change how the links will open. Maybe you want them to open the background, maybe on a new tab. But if you don't want to change this setting, anytime you need to change this, you can just go ahead and create the shortcut and then just ask Siri to just change the way open the links open and it will do that for you of course running the shortcut or just asking siri to run the shortcut now you can also change something here like closing the tab so when you go here you know that we have a few different options to close tabs on safari so you have all of them right here manually after a day a week or a month you can go ahead and change that setting quickly simply by running this new shortcut and we have these shortcuts for a lot of different apps. Like let's say for example, for voice memos, you can go ahead and change the audio quality. Anytime you want to do that without having to go to the settings app. So, you know, with iOS 18, we have a new app section. So there is an extra step to actually go to your app settings. But with this feature, you can just do that. Simply search for voice memos, then go to voice memo settings. And right here, you can choose what you want to do. So we'll have audio quality, clear, deleted, location based naming, stereo recording. Any of these settings can be changed here. If you're just going to turn on or off stereo recording, you can do that now using a shortcut. We also have here the calendar app. So here we have one week view starts on today. You tap on and it will start the week view on today, but you will also have a ton of like different things you can change with the calendar app. Like you can set alternate calendars. You can sing the events right here, show invite declines and all that. Of course, everything here can be done through settings, actually through the shortcuts app without having to go to the settings. Now, again, I have to empathize this. So whenever you're creating these shortcuts to actually change settings, I suggest that you change the name right here because the default name will be changed calendar settings. So in this case, time to leave. If I turn it on, what I want to do is go there and make sure I rename this. So I rename this to something similar to this, maybe time to leave. So I can go ahead and set this to time to leave. And that way, all I have to do is just tell Siri time to leave and it will actually change that setting. You can also do this for the reminder settings. Again, when you go to, to the shortcuts app, just search for reminders. It will show you change reminder settings. You tap right there. And then this is what you will see right here. You tap there and you will have five different settings that you can change for your reminders app. So today's notifications, suggestions right there, overdue mute notifications, or include due today. So muting notifications, never been easier. You can turn it on or off using, of course, a shortcut. So all you have to do there is just go ahead and turn that on and you're good to go. And the 10th and the last example of these shortcuts, as you can see right there, you can create a ton of them because there are a ton of settings for a ton of apps that are currently available that you can change. But let's I'm just showing you guys some of the most interesting ones, maybe more the more useful ones And this one right here for the TV settings. So when you go here and search for TV settings, you can change a lot of things like the audio language. Maybe you want to actually change something like the trans transcription language, like the default subtitle language right there. You can just go ahead and switch that. So it's actually pretty, pretty useful. So if you use a TV app, you will have here a lot of things like show the sports score, maybe streaming wireless quality. You can go ahead and change the quality right here. So to data saver or to high quality, anytime you want to switch that, just ask Siri. So in this case, you're on the TV app, you want higher quality, just create this with this shortcut right here, change the name to high quality TV, maybe and just ask Siri to do that. And it will switch on that setting automatically.
So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 amazing things that I showed you guys that the, uh, your iPhone can do with the Shortcuts app and Siri on iOS 18.4. Of course, as you can see there, there are a lot of actions, but these are 10 that I've chosen for this video that I think are very interesting and might be very useful for a lot of users. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.